Oregon is home to only two species of native turtles. Both of these species, the western painted turtle and the western pond turtle, are protected by law, making it illegal to take them from the wild or keep them as pets. Both the western painted and western pond turtles are listed on the state sensitive species list and highlighted in the Oregon Conservation Strategy as species in need of help. Population declines are due to habitat loss, degradation of nesting areas by invasive plants, illegal collecting, disease, and competition from non-native turtles. Oregon also has non-native turtles that pose a threat to Oregon's native species. These non-native invaders include red-eared sliders and snapping turtles, which pose a threat to native turtles by competing with them for food, habitat, and nesting areas. It is illegal in the state of Oregon to buy, sell, possess, or release non-native turtles. Red-eared sliders are relatively easy to identify. They have red markings on the side of their heads. If you've just realized you are in possession of a non-native turtle, contact your local Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife office. Each year, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife receives native turtles that were mistakenly or illegally collected by members of the public. These turtles are cared for and returned to the wild whenever possible. Conservation organizations, including the Oregon Zoo, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, and others, are interested in obtaining more information about the populations of both native and non-native turtles. They have set up a website for keeping track of the turtle populations and encourage members of the public who see turtles to report their findings for further monitoring. This website is located at www.oregonturtles.com. So we just released a western painted turtle, one of Oregon's two native turtle species here at uh, Rainier Sun Pond. And uh, we know that there's a small population here, a breeding population. So the turtle we just released was captured in one of the hoop traps set out in the pond. The turtle was a male turtle, probably about eight years of age. We weighed it, measured it, took photos, and then marked it with some uh, yellow nail polish so that we can determine if we get it in a trap again because it will help us plan for the future of this pond for potential habitat restoration projects. Just up the road from this site, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife and two of its partners in turtle conservation, the Audubon Society of Portland and Metro, are releasing another western painted turtle that was illegally caught and removed from its native habitat at a young age and had to be nurtured until it was ready to make it in the wild without any further intervention from humans. Because it, it wasn't a time when the little turtle would normally be awake. It, it could have died because it wasn't normally eating at that time of the year. So we felt it was the best decision to keep it awake over the winter and continue feeding it and give it the best possible chance at survival. He probably was taken and dipped out of the water from up there at what we call the turtle turnout. Well, when it came in in January, when the turtle came in, it was healthy at that point, so we didn't really have to do much. We fed it what would be natural foods in the wild, so um, we made sure it had duckweed in, it, mm -hmm. in its enclosure, and we gave worms, and we gave pieces of fish. Um, we actually had some bullfrog tadpoles come in that we put in, so it was able to chase after some live food, and it took those well. The only incident we had, it had a very small um, piece of infection on the underside of its shell, which we just treated for a few days, and that healed up fine. This is probably the same area within a quarter mile of where the turtle had been collected. It's good to get him back from where he came from so that he'll know his surroundings a bit better. The western painted turtle, it's a species of concern to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife and many of our partners. It's classified as a state sensitive species, um, sensitive critical, and it's also listed as a strategy species in the Oregon Conservation Strategy. This turtle is lucky to be alive. Taken out of the sediment during hibernation, a small hatchling like this did not have a lot of reserves. It didn't have a lot of energy to get itself through the winter. 
if it would have stayed out of the water in the middle of winter, there wouldn't have been any food for it to eat. It quite possibly would have starved or just otherwise from other causes not made it through the winter. In spite of its shaky beginning, this young native Oregon western painted turtle did make it back into the wild unharmed, but it would have been better off if it hadn't been removed in the first place. Remember, if you see a turtle in the great outdoors, please leave it alone and report its whereabouts to the Native Turtles of Oregon website, which is located at www.oregonzoo.org forward slash turtles.